With at least 200,000 years of modern human history, people are continuously finding ancient artifacts and structures that provide a fascinating insight into what life was once like. From lines carved in the ground to strange caves, devices, and writings, it's time to explore the 15 most mysterious archaeological discoveries. Number 15. The Nazca Lines there are many large ancient monuments around the world that are seemingly impossible for civilizations at the time to have built, but in most cases their purposes seem to have been very much with down-to-earth motives in mind. The same can't be said, however, for a series of geoglyphs carved into the desert sands of southern Peru, where the full scale and significance of them can only be seen from the air, something that predated human flight by thousands of years. Known as the Nazca Lines, these formations were formed across the Nazca Desert between 500 BC and 500 AD by the Nazca culture and are vast. There are a series of images, some of which are up to 1,200 feet long, and depict animals like birds, fish, and humans, as well as a number of other plant species. There are hundreds of them, in some cases simply geometric designs, and each was made by removing the top pebble layer of the desert to reveal the pale ground beneath. Since the weather there is very calm and windless, the images have remained in pristine condition over the years. They were originally found in 1553 when explorers thought they were trail markers. Few are visible from the high peaks that surround the plateau, but it was only in the 20th century that the full extent of the designs was realized by pilots that flew overhead. The things that are truly unusual about the depictions is their incredible detail and the inability to really see their true form unless you're above them which raises the question of why or how the people would have created them in the first place. Number 14. The Longyu Caves In 1992, four Chinese farmers were draining water from five small ponds in their local village to clear land for the following year's crops. To the surprise of everyone, though, they had accidentally stumbled across what would become an archaeological mystery, as these weren't naturally formed water holes, and instead turned out to be the entrance to a series of man-made caverns. Now known as the Longyu Caves, a further 19 hollows have now been discovered, some of which reach a height of 98 feet. Thought to have been constructed around 2,000 years ago, they're far larger than would be expected from that time. And to make things even more mysterious, there's no record of any society living in the region at that time, or clues as to who was responsible for making them. None of the caves connect to each other and were built with such precision that they were able to survive thousands of years without collapsing. Just what their purpose was is not clear, and while there are similar caverns in a region to the northwest, those ones were built 1,500 years after the ones at Longyu. Researchers are now scanning the nearby land with ground-penetrating radar with the hope that further caverns can be found that may contain artifacts that will help solve this mystery once and for all. Number 13. The Casa Grande Ruins Located near to the city of Coolidge, Arizona, is the Casa Grande Ruins National Monument, which is a protected region that was established to preserve a series of Hohokam structures that are believed to have been built between 1150 and 1450. Made up of a number of buildings that are surrounded by a compound wall, evidence has been found that shows the people who sought refuge there were farmers and traders who irrigated huge areas of land to grow their crops. The main structure is believed to have been a four-story house that's made from a type of rock called caliche, and it was so sturdily built that it survived for seven centuries. You will, however, see graffiti on the walls that was left by passers-by in the 19th century, and this prompted the site to be recognized as a place of important historical significance, so now it's legally protected. Natural weathering has also become a concern because of the age of the structure, and while a shelter was built over it in 1932, there are plans for a more modern protective structure around it to hopefully preserve it for many years to come. Number 12. The Kat Shabib the Kat Shabib is the name given to a huge wall that passes through southern Jordan and remains one of the most mysterious ancient structures to have been discovered in that region. Possibly built as long ago as the Iron Age, the remains of the wall cover a 93-mile stretch through the desert, and it's believed to have been built from locally sourced rocks by the Bedouin people, who were a semi-nomadic tribe that raised cattle in the harsh environment. Interestingly, at no more than five feet tall, this wouldn't have been a wall that was built for defense or any militaristic means, so the question remains what its purpose actually was. There have been suggestions that it was simply to designate the borderline between two regions of land, and that it would have been big enough to prevent livestock from crossing it, and to let people know which territory they're in. Furthermore, a series of towers were built along the wall, with around a hundred in total having been unearthed. 
and the true purpose of these is a mystery too. As opposed to being defensive positions, it's thought most likely that they were used for food storage and for refuge overnight and during sandstorms, but with no written record and very few artifacts having survived over the years, it's really impossible to say for certain. Number 11. The Piri Reis Map in 1929, while a German theologian was cataloging items in the Topkapi Palace Library in Istanbul, he found a gazelle skin parchment with an unusual map drawn onto it. Now known as the Piri Reis map after the cartographer who drew it in 1513, it's unusual because it seems to accurately depict Antarctica, more than 300 years before the continent was discovered. The map was said to have been drawn based upon more than 20 different maps and charts, but amazingly shows Antarctica as a landmass as it would have appeared before it was covered with ice 6,000 years ago. This has led to many different theories as to how this was possible. The obvious suggestion is that the map was drawn with information that was more than 4,000 years old, which implies that there was a seafaring civilization present at the time that was able to collect that data. Furthermore, the topographical detail would require aerial capabilities to chart, so whoever did it must have been incredibly advanced for the time, with some believing that it's evidence of ancient Atlanteans. Not everyone's so convinced that this map is proof that an ancient advanced society existed, though. Those who are skeptical of the idea point to the fact that the map is also a fair representation of the lower coast of South America, complete with some of its modern geographical features. Quite what the Piri Reis map is is still not certain, and sure to be the source of debate for a long time to come. Either it's proof of an ancient civilization, or it's an early drawing of a continent that was only just beginning to be understood at the time. Number 10. The Costa Rican Stone Spheres Central and South America are covered with ancient structures from the pre-Columbian civilizations that once thrived there. But there's perhaps no more mysterious objects than the series of stone spheres that can be found throughout Costa Rica. Specifically located on the Isla del Caño and the Dequi Delta, there are approximately 300 of these hand-chiseled rocks that range in size from just a couple of inches to six and a half feet in diameter made from a type of rock called gabbro. The largest of them weigh as much as 15 tons, so it wouldn't just have taken a long time to sculpt, but would have been very difficult to move with the apparatus available at the time. It's thought that the spheres were mainly a form of decoration, likely used to adorn the pathways leading to the houses of important members of society. And now in modern times, they're seen as a connection to the country's past, and are still revered in a similar way, with some having been moved to prominently feature in government buildings. There's still a lot that's not fully known about the spheres, though, with new ones commonly found in the depths of the jungle. It's possible a deeper cultural significance is yet to be revealed. Number 9. The Voynich Manuscript It's easy to think that our understanding of the world and how it works is the best it's ever been, and that human civilization has been on a continual trajectory of learning, whereby we're building on it every day. This isn't necessarily the case, however, as there are a number of artifacts that suggest various people and communities in the past were well ahead of their time. Possibly the weirdest of them all is called the Voynich Manuscript. Dating back to the beginning of the 15th century, it's not known who wrote it, but it's fascinated researchers ever since it appeared in 1912. Throughout the 240 pages are illustrations and writings, but as of yet, no one's been able to decipher what they mean. Tests have been conducted on the pages and confirmed that it's truly more than 600 years old, but despite the attempts of the best codebreakers in the world, it's so far proven impossible to decipher the code in which the words are written. The illustration suggests that it talks about complex botanical and biological understanding, as well as a surprising grasp of mathematics, astronomy, and a number of other disciplines. Quite why the author felt the need to hide all the contents from casual observers is not yet clear, but perhaps one day someone will be able to decipher it all and finally unlock the manuscript's mysteries. Number 8. Nan Madol Found off the coast of the eastern shore of Pompeii Island, which is part of the Federated States of Micronesia in the Pacific Ocean, Nan Madol was an ancient city that was the capital of the Sadalur dynasty until the mid-17th century. With a name that translates to mean within the intervals, but believed to have been originally known as Sun Nang Leng, or Reef of Heaven, the city was built in a lagoon on a network of small artificial islands that are connected by canals. In total, there are a hundred man-made stone and coral islets, and just how people managed to do this and why they chose to divert so much effort towards the city's construction is one of the biggest archaeological mysteries in the Pacific. 
Thought to have been mainly inhabited by the wealthiest of society, there were probably between 500 and 1,000 residents, many of whom were representatives from districts elsewhere. Surprisingly, the city had no means of food production or any water sources of its own, so relied entirely on provisions being brought in by boat from inland. Eventually, the Sadulur dynasty was overthrown by the Namwarkis, and while they lived in Nanmadal to begin with, it was the lack of resources that forced them to eventually abandon the city and leave it to become the ruins that can be seen today. Number 7. The Gigantia Temples Built during the Neolithic era around 3,000 years ago, these temples are a series of buildings that make up a complex on the island of Gozo, which is part of Malta in the Mediterranean. They're the oldest of all known temples in Malta, and were even built before the Egyptian pyramids, making them the second oldest known religious structures on Earth. Based on artifacts that have been found on the site, it's believed that the temple complex was built in dedication to a fertility ritual. The buildings are a clover leaf shape, and there are two complete temples in all, with a third partially completed one next to them. A number of large stones were moved to build the temples, and this was particularly impressive considering they were completed before the invention of the wheel or metal tools. Instead, evidence has been found that these people used naturally formed spherical stones to be used as ball bearings that they could mount vehicles on and roll over them. Animal bones found there also suggest that animal sacrifices were commonplace and that the temples would have been a major focal point in the daily lives of the people who lived on the island at the time, where they would have made offerings to the gods to bring fortune and prosperity. Number 6. The Baghdad Battery Electricity is something that humans have only been able to harness in the past two centuries, or that's what the general consensus is at least. It's clear that the full understanding of how it works was only developed in recent times, but that doesn't necessarily mean that ancient civilizations weren't able to create and use it without fully knowing how it works. In 1936, three strange artifacts were found in the Kujut Rabu region of Iraq, which had become collectively known as the Baghdad Battery. Including a ceramic pot, a copper tube, and an iron rod, it likely dates back to either the Parthian or Sasanian empires around 2300 years ago, and in theory could have been used to generate an electric current. There is no suggestion that it was used to power anything, but instead it was likely used by artisans to electroplate various objects, which is a process whereby metallic plating is applied. The lack of artifacts from the time that have been treated in this way means that there's no direct evidence of this ever having been done, so there's a chance that it's simply a coincidence, and the pot was instead used for storage of metal objects, which would have been valuable possessions at the time. Number 5. The Shangsheng Dui Civilization Normally, thanks to the discovery of artifacts or by the records and writings of other cultures, it's rare to find evidence of an entirely new, large civilization that's been completely forgotten by history. But this does occasionally happen and can change the historical understanding of entire regions. In 1927, a few ancient objects were found near the city of Guanggan in China, but it was only in 1986 that the full extent of what lay beneath the ground began being uncovered. Now, a huge trapezoidal city has been unearthed, which was built around 3,600 years ago, with various buildings surrounded by canals and countless intriguing artifacts. Called Sangxingdui, which is also the name given to the civilization thought to have built it and lived there, this is believed to be the remains of a previously unknown group of people who would have exerted a huge influence on the surrounding area, a notion that's supported by the fact that similar artifacts have now been found in other excavation sites nearby that date to the same time period. With advanced metallurgy skills, a clear appreciation for craftsmanship, and artifacts that have been described by many as being more impressive than the Terracotta Army, Discoveries like this show that there's far more depth and mystery to Chinese history that's still to be revealed. Number 4. The Antikythera Mechanism In 1901, a crew of sponge divers were in the water off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera when they came across a Roman-era shipwreck that has been dated to the 1st century BC. At a depth of 148 feet, it was in a remarkably pristine condition considering its age, and an expedition by the Hellenic Royal Navy the following year found a number of fascinating artifacts, like bronze and marble statues, pottery, jewelry, and coins. What the wreck has become most famous for, however, was a mysterious mechanism that was found amongst the rubble, which is believed to be the oldest known analog computer. 
It spent so long underwater, it's been difficult to know exactly what it was used for or even what materials it was made of, but it's generally accepted to have been built from a bronze alloy and would have probably been used to chart the movement of the heavenly bodies. Could this then be a precise calendar, which allows the user to know the exact time of year, or, based on some of the inscriptions, keep track of when the Olympic Games and other regular important events would have been held? It's an incredibly complicated mechanism, which some believe to be far too advanced for the civilizations of the time. Furthermore, it's unlikely to have been possible to build it without there being a more primitive version, which raises the question of why nothing else like it has ever been seen before. Number 3. Gobekli Tepe Dated to between 8,000 and 9,500 years ago, Gobekli Tepe, which is in the southeastern Anatolia region of Turkey, is the oldest known religious structure in the world. Made up of several circular buildings that are held in place by stone pillars, the stonework is meticulously detailed with carvings of icons that detail religious stories and are also believed to be historical accounts of the people's beliefs. It seems as if the first people to build and use the site were hunter-gatherers who lived in the villages near Gobekli Tepe during the warmer times of the year. Various sculptures and carvings have been found of people and animals, which gives a fantastic idea of the kinds of lives that the people had. But what's perhaps most exciting about the place is that despite archaeological works having taken place there for more than 40 years, it's said that only 5% have been fully excavated. Further studies will hopefully reveal more about one of the first established human communities that have ever been found, and also about the innate desire humans often show for the need to build significant structures to dedicate towards our beliefs. Number 2. The Dead Sea Scrolls First discovered in the late 1940s at the Qumran Caves in the West Bank, the Dead Sea Scrolls are a series of 981 texts written on papyrus, parchment, and copper. They're seen as one of the most significant archaeological discoveries ever made and are believed to date back as far as 2,000 years ago. Most of them are written in Hebrew, with others in Aramaic and Greek, with further ones from the Judean desert also adding Latin and Arabic to this. Almost all of them are transcripts of religious works, such as from the Hebrew scriptures, a number of the books that were canonized into the Bible, and several more that were for some reason left out. Around a third of the scrolls are ones that have been previously unseen anywhere else, with further details of the rules and beliefs within Judaism from the time they were written, and are a fascinating historical record. What remains unclear, though, is who wrote the scrolls and why they were stored in caves like this, and perhaps most excitingly, how many more collections of scrolls that were hidden and are still to be discovered. Number 1. The Eight Provincial Pyramids when you think of Egyptian pyramids, the first thing that comes to mind is the pyramid complex at Giza, but they weren't actually the first ones that were built. It took a long time for engineers to develop the know-how to construct such huge monuments that would be used as tombs of the pharaohs. But if you venture out of Cairo, you'll find other pyramids that had very different uses. The so-called eight provincial pyramids were a series of smaller ones that were at most 56 feet tall and are named, rather than being built in the necropolises or near the Egyptian capital, they were built in the provincial regions. Just why they were built isn't entirely clear, but we do know that they weren't burial sites. Instead, it's been suggested that they were centers of religious beliefs, perhaps the focal points for various rituals, or alternatively as a local reminder of the power of the pharaoh. Dated to the time when Egypt was ruled by Huni in the late 3rd dynasty and Senefru in the early 4th dynasty, all eight were step pyramids and were completed shortly before the construction on the larger smooth pyramids began. One of the eight, which was in the Nile Delta, has since been completely lost, and the others are in various states of disrepair. But they serve as an important reminder that there was far more to the ancient Egyptians than we tend to focus on. I'll see you next time. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.